theater, I'm just going to say names and you're going to say what comes to mind. Alvin Ailey. I, I, when I came to New York in 1959, I was my first, I had several terrible jobs, and then I got a job working in the theater. And the first, my first real friend of the theater was Alvin Ailey, and this is how it came about. I was working uh, for a press agent named Max Eisen, stuffing envelopes and answering phones, and he said, um, we're having a photo shoot. He was doing a summer package of the musical Jamaica, which had starred Lena Horne on Broadway, and um, Abby Lincoln was going to be in the, in the summer package. And he said, the, the uh, director is going to be at the photographer taking pictures. It's some kid in the chorus. Go and just hang out with him and make sure our office is represented. So I walked in, and there's this very intimidating uh, man standing there, and I said, I'm David Rothenberg. He said, I'm Alvin Haley. And, and the intimidation one, he was, you all heard of Alvin Haley. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they make posters with his name on it. <laughs> and so um, we had a lot of fun with the photo call, and, and afterwards, we went out and had lunch together. Two young people in the theater. Alvin was a chorus boy in Jamaica, and I was sixth assistant in a press office. And what I, what I remember at the lunch, we, were to, we talked about what we wanted to do. And I said, I want to work at a press office and maybe produce someday. And Alvin said, I want to be a choreographer. This is his first show. I said, we should exchange phone numbers. And I would call him if our office had a show and say, you want tickets? And he would call me. I remember he took me one to, once to a dance recital and I was with Alvin. Arthur Mitchell, did anybody know Arthur? Arthur Mitchell started the dance theater of Harlem, was the first black dancer with the balance, that balance he never hired, and a guy named Matt Horn. Anyway, we hung out together. Uh, you know, two guys in the theater, and you run into each other. And one day, I run into Alvin the following summer. It's the summer of 60, I think. Some theater chronologist will probably correct me. In front of Howard Johnson's 46th Street in Broadway. Remember Howard Johnson? Yes. Yeah. And Alvin Ailey says to David Rothenberg, What are you doing this afternoon? Now, when somebody in the theater asks you what you're doing, you have to think up an excuse fast because <laughs> you don't want to lose friendship by seeing somebody's terrible workshop production. That's what, when they usually, when somebody in the theater says, What are you doing today? That means they're, doing, they're trying something out. If you're a civilian, they, I always say the civilian equivalent is if you run into somebody who has a newborn baby in the carriage and the baby's ugly and you don't know what to say, <laughs> and you say, oh, what a big baby, he looks just like his father. <laughs> and you find out it's a girl. <laughs> so I said, I tried to think of something to say to Alvin, and I couldn't, and he said, I've started a dance company, this dream, and we're rehearsing this afternoon upstairs in Variety Arts, which was later became a porno uh, movie, some of you may know that. But it was a rehearsal hall in those days, and uh, Alvin said, would you come up? And I couldn't think of an excuse fast enough, so I agreed to go up there. I arrived, and I'm the audience of one. There's no one else there. No air conditioning, the summer of 60. They had been rehearsing all day, sweaty, dirty, torn leotards. And Alvin comes over to the audience and being says, I'm creating something from the Bible. Well, I thought that's the final nail in the coffin. <laughs> I know nothing about dance. He's going to do something from the Bible, and there's and there's no heat, no air in the room, and it's the dance is dirty and sweaty. Have you has anyone seen Revelations? His signature piece, which is so magnificent. Well, I saw it in that room, and I knew that genius could arrive in any place at all. It was, Alvin came over after and said, what do you think? And I said, Alvin, it is brilliant. He said, you didn't like it. <laughs> I said, it's just beautiful. He said, what's wrong with it? I said, it's not so bad. He said, thank God. <laughs> the early dance company, Alvin still worked as a, had to work as an actor because the company, they opened a few, his first recital was a few weeks later at the uh, YWCA, the Clark Y on 8th Avenue in the 50s. And uh, he, his dance company sort of kicked around, but they had a great triumph in the Soviet Union and the New York Times read a headline, uh, hit of the Russian dance season, the Ailey Dance Company. So Richard Barr brought them back to Broadway and hired me to be the publicist. So I was Alvin's first publicist on Broadway. I may add that when the Fortune Society began, Alvin was so proud, and was uh, we asked him to be on our advisory council, and he quickly agreed. 
and he always made tickets available for the for the guys at Fortune. And I was able to introduce dance to men and women who had never had that experience before. And the and the Yaley Company is the perfect dance company to introduce people. And so one time, Kenny Jackson said, because guys were going to Yaley all the time in those days. And Kenny Jackson said, when you get out of jail in New York, you get $40, a bologna sandwich, and two tickets to Albany. <laughs> <laughs>